So, what you're about to watch is a playthrough of Ascension Chapter 1 with myself, Nicole the Plant, and Booksy Nerds. Last time we played this game, we were 17, and we are now 23 and 24. And since then, the game's website has shut down, which is unfortunate. But the creator, Rimaru, has a different website where she's hoping to remake the game and has other games on there, which will be linked down in the description. Side note, there are some visual elements that have been added to this video by myself to help you at home have a better understanding of the world. And the sound wouldn't record while we were recording, so all the sound you hear is music and sound effects I have added myself. I hope you guys all enjoy, and thank you so much for watching. Cold. I thought it would, <laughs> it would never would be cold. I knew, I always knew that one way or another, I would die like this. thought I was ready. But right now, all I want is... One last chance to fight. The Nifty Fox Inn of Davenside. Best place to find every kind of lowlife, Sky always said. For Ida, however, the Nifty Fox meant money. People in here would always drink until they couldn't see straight anymore. And it was always easy stealing from the drunk. She could make around eight gold by the end of the night, especially when she pulled the drunken fight train. Ooh. Come here, you little filth, so I can break your annoying face! You gotta do the eternal. Bring it on, you ugly wench! Fight! Come at me, you stinky fire, and it all gonna growls! The fight is on, we don't have a lot of time to do it quickly, okay? Ready? You ready? Okay, get those coins! Get those coins! <laughs> come on, come on! We oh, want the new sticks! It is so hard to do this in the next bit. 10, 12, 10, 12, 14! Woo! I have made myself some time. You did nothing. <laughs> it's just Sky going. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Although I don't like going back to camp, the first one's so sad, isn't it? <laughs> spoilers, Nicole, spoilers! <laughs> <laughs> there you are. I suppose you are done putting my daughter in danger. He doesn't look like he has any facial expressions, so I'm just gonna play in. Look like he's old enough to have a daughter. Oh, first decision, first decision. Oh, one, two, or pass. three lads. I wanna do number one or two. I think number one, because she's like, I'm going like, to talk to her problems. Let's not. He lives here. <laughs> He's also let's Sky's not, dad. Let's not flirt with the dad, I think. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I was just starting. What are you know, doing? I would never put Sky in danger to her. Yeah. Yeah, so you've lived with me all your life. My name is Tan. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, we are letting you stay in the camp out of kindness. Why is he Snape? I don't know. I know, Snape. I remember. Look, Ida, when we found you, your wounds, if Sky didn't bring you here in time, you would die that day. I told you, I don't want to talk about it to her. Besides, if I was planning to hurt your daughter, I would have done so in the past six years. Oh, it's only six years and you didn't learn my name. <laughs> Just don't put her in danger. Whatever you do, keep her alive. Consider this a favour for your life. But damn, sorry she oh. brought me back. If you didn't ask for it, I would protect her even if I didn't owe you my life. You don't have to remind me that every minute. She is my friend. Oh! I hate this guy. You know what? <laughs> me too, hun. Me too, beach. I want to talk to something else. Let's do it. I'm ready. Mm. Ah, talk to Busy? <laughs> yeah, you are weak. <laughs> hey, Jalen, you look busy. Are you making new arrows? Yes. I need more arrows. We are out of meat. I need to hunt. And then an eagle goes by and goes, <laughs> I see like looks. <laughs> oh my god, hurry, do that again. <laughs> dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> it sounded like a bird. I'm notoriously good at doing bird noises, Nicole. I'll, I'll, I'll give you some throughout this paper. <laughs> Right, I think Twinsy's next. No, mate, animals don't die with a normal hit. You have to sing to kill it. That don't make any sense. You're making fun of me again, MC. Trust me, animals are magic wolves, right, Ida? I want to lie. 
Yes, in fact, you have to be completely naked while you're singing or it will just come back to life and attack you when you're asleep. That's right, May. You have to be naked like a newborn baby. Oh, man, that sucks. I only know one song. Hey, Ida, need something? Oh, my God, that's like um, Skyrim or what we got. Need something. Need, need something. something. Just saying hi. <laughs> just saying hi, yeah? I think that's a good one. How are you doing, Cal? Those wounds look pretty bad. Oh. Imagine if you were flirting with him and he's, like, bleeding. <laughs> Leave now. Okay. Would have been a lot worse if not Tarn's medicine. Oh, well. It's a, a piece, piece of paper. paper. Probably from Sky Mother's journals. Where's it coming from? And so from? the saviour rose from the land of the dead with the flames of passion through. One who has seen death. One who has seen beyond. The kings of the old kingdom have been called once again to the land of the mortal. With a tongue which was long forgotten. Their feet touched the sins of darkness and the blood of men. There began the era of the silent. There begun the silent before the storm, until the second is arisen. None shall speak of its words in the tongue which was long forgotten. Page 681. Right, let's go to the sky. Let's go explore. She just cries. Sky's on this journal. Sky thinks she can find something about her death in here. Oh Oh my god, I forgot her mum died. (laughs) A few days ago, an old friend of mine contacted me about our common interest. I want to trust him. If he is right about the maps, it'll take more than I anticipated. <laughs> Sky is growing up. I don't know how long I can hide from them. <clears throat> I don't want to put my family in danger. There is blood over all of these pages I'm reading. We only had one preset for pages. That might be it. <laughs> Making games is hard work, man. This world she created is so huge. And it's just every single time I see it, I'm always like, oh, yeah, they got this and this. I like it. Don't blame Sky for crying anymore. I forgot her mum died. I, that. <laughs> I remember stealing this from a witch dwarven merchant. Sky's bow and arrows. She is pretty bad at archery, though. Our empty treasure chest. One day we will find. We will fill it with jewels and gold. Ever since she found her mother's journals, Sky has been so quiet. Mm. What's up? Did you find anything interesting? Or uh, I think, uh oh, because that's I. I think that's Ida. Like, ah, uh oh. <laughs> um, Ida. One or two. Wait, are we playing it to the character that we know, Ida, or are we playing it to what we would do to other people? We're playing it to Ida. We're playing it as Ida. Wait, actually, to be fair though, we make Ida's character by the choices we make. So basically, we've made Ida into the sass machine she is. That's very true. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I don't mind doing two. We're going for two. I want to hear your best telly tubby voice, Nicole, when you go, uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Don't uh oh me. This is interesting. My mum mentions a hidden temple on Iron Marsh quite often on her journals. I would say one, what do you mean? Do you really think it's about the old kingdom? It could be. She was smart. She would never leave any real findings on paper. Ida, please, I want to check that temple out. Can we go there tomorrow? Oh yeah. Of course. We've got to do this for our baby girl. All right, let's check it out. I don't want you to be disappointed if it's a dead end like last time. I can actually hear how annoying my voice is already. No. <laughs> okay. Shall I go back to OG Sky just so you can feel better? Oh, can you please do one line in OG, like, scattered just once? Just one line in OG Sky voice, and that's all I ask. Right, we yeah, sleep. Let's go sleep. Come on. She only has I also one too- giant eyeball. I forgot about these dreams. I can't remember who actually first found this game because I don't. I know it wasn't me. I know it wasn't me who found it first. I just remember that when we, whoever first found it, we all played it like really quickly after together. We did. We were like, wow. <laughs> Watch me immediately play the next chapter after this. <laughs> no, you have to wait till next week, Nicole, when we film this again. <laughs> oh, me. Is she dead? She looks dead. Well, you know what they say: the third time is the charm. <laughs> Let's go. Hey there, come on. <laughs> Let's just go before the others wake up. There's your OG s- sky. Woo! I don't think she's a morning person, personally. Yeah, just sneaking out. Yeah, I think just... Do we really have to sneak out? Your father will be worried and then he will start yelling at me again. Was I meant to be yelling in that first scene? <laughs> Ida! <laughs> <laughs> My father, either. There's no way he would let me leave. Let's just go. Oh, grab that money. Take the quick. I see money. Red grass. Did it rain last night? Men's tent. So no not going, going in there. there. That was one weird dream. It was just this. Right. For the forest. Ooh. Ooh. Apple Town. Good memories. Yeah. 
behind the bushes! Ah! I don't want to die! It's gonna be a funny in there. What? Where? <laughs> Tangled before The time. evil bunny of doom. Shut up. I thought it was a wolf or something. <laughs> it's running away! Catch it! Why did oh, you no, that you have to catch it? this. Oh, fine. <laughs> You're not getting me! <laughs> He interrupted this book. Harriet like playing computer games all her life. Yeah, not with my fucking MacBook. There we go. <laughs> I have a trackpad. That's all I have. I'm joking. I was being funny. Got you, little guy. Hi, Marsh. That's where we're heading to. Is there anything else if we click on the. Oh, there was something glittering on the ground there. Oh, I pointed. The... You guys can't see where I pointed. <laughs> Over there, Harriet. Oh, click on that. Right there. It's right there. I'm Marsh. Guys. You do realise this place is in ruins, right? I know it looks bad, but I have to go in there, Ida. I have to know what's in there. You mama. Alright, but if we encounter a giant evil slobbering monster, I'll let it be first. I don't think there'll be any real danger. My mum would have mentioned. Something could have moved in there by the time she died. Like I know, literally. <laughs> According to her, this hidden temple holds a map. Well, part of a map, actually. She believes if you gather all the pieces of the map, it could show you the entrance to the old kingdom. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could, or it will. I mean, there's nothing wrong with could, but I myself am a bit of a will girl. Will, could, I don't know. She doesn't say. She rarely ever talks about the old kingdom in her journals. That face that she does. Like. No, it's okay. She <laughs> oh, she's crying. And no. like, oh, for fuck's sake. Like. <laughs> no, it's okay. She never wanted me to find out about her research. It's just trying to prevent me from finding out. She knew I was weak. And I was weak. She wanted to protect you. Of oh. course. Give her a pat on the back. Like, she died trying to find that place. And if she was as good a thief as you, told me so. Maybe she had a good reason to prevent you from finding out. Maybe you're right. Maybe she simply wanted to protect me from harm. Oh, you know if Sky oh my god, what's that huge tomb on the floor? Sorry, this Nicole, what did you say? old. Sky uh, reminds me of Rachel from Friends. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> She's like, just so you know, I might cry, but... <laughs> Are those scratch marks? Scratch marks? Whoa. Hoodie, whatever we left these marks is not a happy creature. I'm not touching that. Why? Blood. <laughs> if it's blood, it do certainly doesn't belong to a human. This looks old. I never saw saw these markings before. Dwarven. It looks like Kadan. Remember we always had this? It was Caden Card and Kadan. Caden Card and Kadan. I feel like Kadan rolls off my tongue a bit more. It looks like Kadan. Uh, you mean the ancient language? Just how old is this temple? Old. Pity I can't read it. I wonder what it says. <laughs> old. <laughs> Possibly. Do not enter. There are monsters inside and it smells really bad. Can you ever take things seriously? Not if I can help it. <laughs> Ida felt the cold chill of the stone walls once they stepped inside the ruined temple. The entrance was tight and dark but they could see the stone stairs going down. They could barely see the end of the stairs. Ida looked at Skye, making sure she was okay. Skye never liked underground tunnels, but she didn't have any hesitation on her face. She was almost too serious. When they finally started walking down the stairs, Ida felt a slight freeze on her neck. She felt as if someone was watching them. I have a bad feeling about this. She thought to herself, I can't see anything! <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> was that your foot? No, that was my hand. What is your hand doing on my foot? Oh, what in the name of old oh, kings are you doing on the floor? I fell, all right. What's that? Is that a switch? Ida, is that a switch? Stop yelling in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the old kings. Uh, it's a dead end. Oh, I thought the dead was in quotation marks because this bitch was dead. I was going to laugh. <laughs> she's not dead, she's a statue, right? I know, well, <laughs> We do. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't remember, though. Oh. Look at the statue. It must be an old queen. Rest well, my queen, and forever watch over us. Oh, fuck's sake, Sky. Alabia <laughs> Sarasmita. Never knew you were the religious type, Sky. I believe in ascension. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You don't think our old kings and queens watch, o watch over us from Irani once they ascend? It's not the time to discuss delicious religion. Delicious? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Let's just focus on finding the map. Right. My mother mentioned a hidden switch somewhere in this room. I think the switch is going to be the button on her forehead. And look at that beauty. Looks pricey. <laughs> Ida. Ida. What's <laughs> happening? Oh, bitch. I forgot oh. this. <laughs> Possession. I've just noticed we have a bunny icon <coughs> in the corner. Are you alright? What was that? The lie? What did you do? I barely touched the damn jewel and the whole place has gone crazy. I hate magical stuff. Look, that must have been the switch. A secret door. Great, a magical secret door that opens to yet another dark tunnel. No, oh, the brave little Ida is afraid of a little magic. I mean, she did fly. I yeah. Just- Blue sky, that was no little magic. Sky and Ida started walking towards the end of the tunnel. The strange black liquid started appearing more often, and the feeling of being watched started to bother Ida even more. Sky, on the other hand, looked overjoyed. She had good instincts, and her instincts told her they were close to something. <laughs> Isn't the rate to which she has to fold over a page? So, another dead end. No, there must be a hidden switch here. Maybe on the walls. What is with these ancient people and switch it, guy? No, no way. Oh, we must say, guys, the magic jewel, the hidden door. Guy, please. No, please. What that say? Please, I just need to get me in. Okay, well, we got a lot of goo. Touch the weird black liquid. There we go. I'd have get to death again. Oh, wait, I'll pass out. You <gasps> I remember this character so well. Ida slowly opened her eyes in a warm hut. The bed she was sleeping in was soft for the first time in years. Even though it was pretty small, the hut was clean. The sheets smelled like spring flowers. She felt something familiar about this place. It was Grandmother's hut. And there she was. Ida's chest burned with a terrible pain. This couldn't be real. Grandmother was gone, and it was all because of Ida and her arrogance. She stood up and slowly approached the old woman. Even if it was a dream, she would give anything to talk to her once again. So she could say she was sorry that she never listened to her. Finally up. Sorry? Up? Oh, I don't remember. They are coming for you, Ida. They know you're alive. <laughs> what? Ida shivered in fear. Those are the exact words she said that day. Come to think of it, it felt exactly like that day. The hut, the stew, even grandmother looked the same. Then she heard the heavy knocks at the door. Heavy knocks. Perfectly balanced, confident knocks. She didn't want to open the door. Her knees were shaking. She knew it. It was them. Run, Ida, and don't look back. I don't think she has anywhere to run. Please don't waste my time. Do you want to know who it reminds me of? Twilight. Jamie Cameron uh, Power, Twilight dude. Yeah. Artifice! <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. What is fucking going on? He's strangling her. Oh, strangling her? Strangling her. I was like, I could just see two silhouettes kind of doing this. What? Why? Nothing personal. You just have something I need. He was strong. Stronger than he should have been. Gazed at her coldly. It was disgust in his eyes. Nothing personal, my ass. So much hatred in his eyes. She wished he knew why he hated her that much. Ida suddenly felt a cold, hard metal pierce through her stomach. It didn't hurt at first. Being a noble she rarely ever felt pain at least that's what grandmother used to call her a noble they were feared by many silver hair deadly gaze dominations of human race superior sight speed and reflexes but they never had emotions feelings they were stone cold killers perfect soldiers grandmother used to say day you meet a real noble or the day you die (laughs) she never understood the meaning of those words as she was a noble herself Mm. but seeing the man in front of her his deadly gaze emotionless face perfect voice oh thank you (laughs) she started to realize she wasn't a real noble and the real nobles didn't want her alive for some reason ida slowly started to feel cold and tired but mostly scared she couldn't keep her tears they were rushing out of her eyes before she started losing her consciousness she looked at him one more time and then she saw the glow in his eyes it's not in his eyes it's everywhere literally on his entire face (laughs) white glowing light was flowing through her to him and she started to feel it the pain It was her ability he wanted. She was losing her ability. Suddenly time started flowing slower, the pain heavier. It started to hurt so much she couldn't even scream. Colors became darker, her sight slowly started to narrow down, and slowly 
her eyelids closed. I thought they were closed this entire time, not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do with the with the girl? Throw her somewhere near the woods, make it look like it was the bandits. By the old kings, look at her wounds. Dad, can you help her? I don't know, Sky. The injuries don't look good. Hey, don't worry, I will help you. You are safe now. Oh, <laughs> It's just a party loop. I've got this. It's just an incubus. Your friend is lucky. If it was a fully grown incubus, she could have slept for years. Here, this should wake her up. I wake up now? This is all my fault. Hello? I am. <laughs> In a few moments. She will probably have a terrible nightmare, though. You should have been careful. Never touch an incubus. They could trap you in an eternal nightmare of your worst fears. We aren't exactly scholars. I'm sorry, Tilly, right? And Xander. The carvings a dwarven tail. I know, I told you. So your sleeping friend here. She flew, you said. Yes. <laughs> and her eyes were glowing too. Then the ground started shaking. And the secret entrance opened. So what happened to the gem and the statue? I'm trying to channel Geralt, but I've got a blocked nose, so it's like the most nasally Geralt ever. I don't know, they just vanished. Why are you here anyways? Stuff. Why are you here? Stuff. <gasps> you. You idiot! Maybe I shouldn't have woken up. What were you thinking touching that thing? Many things. <laughs> I think. I don't really remember. It must have been something like, oh, a weird looking black liquid. I should touch it. Remember, I didn't want you to leave. And Sky was like, no, we have to keep looking. <laughs> My response would be, why did you touch it? <laughs> well, there was nothing else to do in the room you wanted Literally. me to stay in. <laughs> Still joking? One day you'll die because of your clever house. If Tilly and Xander weren't here, you would have died! No, thank you for, you know, saving my life. Don't worry about it. Are you alright? That Yeah, now here's your concern, Sky. Are you alright? Xander said you probably had a terrible nightmare. Yeah, it was about the day we first met. Oh. Sky knew the look on Ida's face. She didn't want to talk about it. She never wanted to talk about the day they met. I low-key was like, wow, a harsh Ida, like, <laughs> making a joke, making a mean joke like that. Look at it, I know, she's genuinely serious. Finding her covered in blood with deadly wounds. If her father wasn't a very talented medic, she would have died. Well then, shall we go till... Hmm. Uh, why are you staring at me? Why is she staring at me? It's the hair, isn't it? You look like a normal. Why have I suddenly now gone to this voice? <laughs> normal. I'm trying to get into Tilly's old voice, but there is no way that I can do that justice. So I've, I've stuck with the, with the, just the, what's it called? RP? The yeah. RP Game of Thrones voice. I was surprised. Almost everybody she met probably thought the same thing, but never brave enough to ask about it. She did look like a noble with her silver hair after all, but not even Sky had ever talked about it. So they don't have bleach in this universe? Nope. Well, I am not. Half noble? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Now I know to have human partners. Now I get it. No, I never knew my parents. Mm. Might be a good idea to not piss off a race that is usually known to be called the killers. Just <coughs> that's weird. You may look like a noble, but you don't feel like one. I thank you. So can we go now? I saved your life. At least tell us why you're here. Here we go. Fair enough. We're looking for a map. The old kingdom, I assume. Why would I be looking for a place that doesn't? Why would you be oh. looking for a place? Why would you be looking for a place that doesn't ex even exist? Sky so thinks it exists. I'm just here for the fun and the occasional life-threatening situations. You're standing on it. On what? The map. When Ida looked down, she could barely see the drawn map all over the floor. It was so vague, if Teddy didn't mention it, it would easily be overlooked as a texture on the stone floor. By the old kings. Well, that doesn't look very portable. So why are you here? Research! You know us dwarves aren't exactly known for our talent in arcane arts. I actually didn't know that. Yes, but this is a dwarven temple. The structure, the stones used in the building... And... And... How did you enter the hidden tunnel? Well, first there was this huge quake, and then I flew a little. And then you flew a little? It was the magic jewel. Think about it. What was a magical jewel doing in an old dwarven temple? And in Valentine, nonetheless. I know I can't answer these questions. Nobody can. Except the old kingdom itself, so we're now looking for the same thing. So wait, how come nobody 
ever opened this tunnel before. The door must have had some kind of lock. And then how come when I removed it, the hidden entrance opened? Nicole not being able to read for five minutes straight. <laughs> Something about you must have triggered the magic in the jewel. I'm wondering about that myself. I thought maybe you being a noble might have something to do with it. I keep forgetting how many times they say noble in this series, and I'm always like, noble, <laughs> noble. They say the nobles originally come from the old kingdom itself. That's why they are called nobles. They were all used to be noble families in the old kingdom. Right! <laughs> So according to legends, it's a city built by humans, dwarves and elves together and were very advanced in the arcane art. Even mages were common back then. I like to think Tilly always jumps when Xander speaks because he hardly ever does. She was like, <laughs> he does. <laughs> Even mages. <Hello. laughs> right, thank you for the history lesson. That was very kind of you. All I'm saying is, since we are looking for the same place, we should team up. What? what? We can find our next target in my mother's journals. Let's go to our camp and rest. We can leave for the valley in the morning. I guess we don't have a say in this. Nope. Money, money. What's that? Money. Camp. So you just have to cut a slight piece from the tip of its tail. Watch me change Tilly's voice like 10 times during this. The only alchemist I've ever known is my father, and he never tells me about poisonous arrows. Right, it can be pretty dangerous though. If you don't know how to handle the poison, it can paralyse you for days. Well, at least Sky looks pretty interested. Are you okay? You look a bit pale. You were in that nightmare for a while. Yeah, flying and then falling into a nightmare trap wasn't exactly entertaining. And I'm hungry. Me! <laughs> <laughs> he smiled! He smiled huh. though. You just smile? Look at that! I didn't know Moonies could smile! Normally we rarely ever do, but I am a... a mage. So mages are what? Constantly smiling, optimistic people? Mages have ten times stronger emotions than any without magic. How come you don't know about this? It's common knowledge. I wasn't taught much. You know, the whole hiding from constantly being hunted down part doesn't exactly let you sit down and learn anything other than survival. Might quite story, I get it. Ah, I see. Well, there's not much to learn. I am like any other moon elf. Well, plus exaggerated emotions and magic. Right, I don't know why we fancied him. I, I just, I'm out, I'm out. I'm not a fan of him anymore. <laughs> Maybe it will change, but I'm just saying it now. Maybe it was purely just because he was an elf. No, but also, like, they're so cute. Leave it! <laughs> no, we're going to have fights over who we seduce in the next one. Okay. Next one? It's going to be this one. Because there's two options. The new animation, though, has me first and after uh, Jace. Yeah, I'm about to say, I think Jace is the one, to be honest. We're older now. We're women. <laughs> Not children anymore. We're women. We are no longer girls. We're we women. Are women. I'm over this teenage angst. Forgive me for saying that, but you don't exactly look very emotional. I mean, you always have the same thing. Forgive me for always having the same face. No, I mean the whole, I think I ate too much face. You don't have that face. You're doing it right now. You do have that face. I don't have that face. It's a cute face. It's a cute, it's a cute face, it's a cute. We can fix it with magic if we want to. It's stuck that way. Is there magic to fix faces? Uh huh. Very funny. There's loads of sparklies. Money. That's a true romance of this series. Money. It was already getting dark once the group reached the road to the camp. How long did we spend <laughs> I know. Ida was feeling rather annoyed. Something didn't feel right. Call it the noble blood in her veins, or her highly developed sense of danger over the years of hiding. It was getting cold and silent, more than it should have been. Wait, something is not right. I feel... Death. Oh, no! Your mum's about to come in and whoop your ass. <laughs> she ain't home. It's just me papa and I told him I was going to be loud. Like, wait! Everybody's oh, yeah. dead! Literally us like, oh no, Sky always cries. She literally loses both her fucking parents. <laughs> I remember though that we were very much like, screw these people, they're mean to Ida, they deserve to die. <laughs> How old were we when we last played this? 17. Yeah. I don't think Skye's allowed to cry as much as she wants. She's been through it. This is just brutal. They didn't even give him a chance to fight back. May your souls find their way to Arani, brothers. Cal, clean shot to the head. Whoever did this was no amateur. What are we going into? Is it that one? It yeah. must, be, must be the tent. The only clickable. Oh. I don't know what. I think I could cry. <laughs> Who would do this? I don't know, Skye. Please, I don't. I, I want to be alone for a while. I, I can't. Yeah, fair time. Oh, money. 
Sky, your mother's journals are gone. Why would anyone want my mother's journals? Someone else is looking for the old kingdom too. That doesn't make any sense. Nobody knew about her journals except us. Okay, we go outside. Ida, I'm I'm so sorry. Sky's father, is he? Yeah. Xander and I moved the bodies away from the camp for now, for I'm not a fil- familiar with human customs. Oh, yeah, I think Sky should decide what to do with them. I'm not exactly human. Ida, can I talk to you? <laughs> I think I might know who's behind this. Okay. Who? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure, but the way they were killed, with one single arrow to the head, it looks like the eagles. Eagles? I suppose it's not the bird kind. They were the gang behind the annihilation of the Night Order, around the time your old king died. Dividing them into groups one day with anonymous tips about a certain illegal deal going on at night, and attack the outpost once the groups were out. Nobody expected a gang to attack the Night Order so openly. But they were organised. They weren't just brute mercenaries. They were professional archers. It weren't a big deal before the attack. Now that the order is gone, they are practically running North Cliff. How do you know all this? Tilly and I had a small run-in with them a few years back. It wasn't pretty. That is bad. Why would the Eagles be here? Guys, Mother's journals are missing. They contain information about the entrance to the Old Kingdom. Hey, dear, these people are really dangerous and bad. They can't have that information. They can never, ever find the Old Kingdom. Why would they be looking for it? In the Old Kingdom, they practice necromancy. A few years ago, they found us for what they called a magical research. Turns out their research was about necromancy itself, and we understood what it was about. We ran. I guess they didn't like you running away? No, they didn't care about us, actually. But Tilly here took all their resources and collected information with her. And that, they cared about. I love how happy Tilly looks. <laughs> you couldn't let those people have that kind of power. You didn't mind having the extra resources for your alchemy, though. You're becoming awfully chatty, Xander. The one time he speaks. So what do we do? How do we get the journals back? We need a good plan. These people are not random thugs. Hi, Ida. We have to get those journals back. How are you? We can't let those monsters use anything that my mother owned. I promise, Sky, I won't let them use those journals. Tilly, Xander, you must know their weaknesses. You worked with them. They don't exactly have a weakness, but there is one thing. Their leader recently changed to a man named Diego. We knew him. He's ruthless and smart. However, he's a big show off. And in a past life, he had a voice that sounded like this. <laughs> Um, the Eagles won't trust him, so he will most probably want to recruit new members. That could be your key to the front door. Sorry, I was taking a drink while we were talking about all those dead people. My key? Well, they already know about us, unless you want Sky to go in instead. I can go! No, you would end up stabbing the guy in his sleep or something. I mean, mood. Okay, so, get recruited, go in, take the journals, run away. There's a small problem, however. You know the whole half-noble thing? Silver hair will attract some unnecessary attention in a city like Northcliffe, nonetheless. Uh, the city will have tailors. Go buy a cape. Or dye your hair. Just give me a few moments to say goodbye before we set out. We need to talk before we go to Northcliffe, Ida. This is important. I'll be looking around the camp if you need me. Who should we go to first? Mm-hmm. Probably left Sky, because she's dealt with the most. Yeah, left to right. Hey. I didn't say anything to him. I just sneaked out. He died wondering where I was. Maybe he was worried. It's all my fault. He died going to her tent trying to find her and she wasn't there. Like, 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 ah. Don't blame yourself. Don't blame yourself. How are you supposed to know that trained so, assassins? It's your fault. The eagles were behind this and I promise when I find them, I will make them pay for it. No, I didn't mean to. I blamed him, Ida, for my mother's death and he knew that. He died knowing that I always blamed him. And I just can't forget about this. I just can't let this one go. When you lose someone like this, I keep thinking to myself, wondering if things would be different if only I could say the things I never did. Would you really feel better if you could say the things you never did? I guess now I'll never know. So, are we leaving now? What, you don't like our cozy camp full of dead bodies, blood and drama? So insensitive, I forget this. So insensitive. Except for Sky, she's been pretty nice. He just goes, hmm. honestly, never seen that many dead people since my approval. What the hell's an appro- approval? To the Academy of Arcane Arts in Ildis. 
I thought you didn't need any approval for the academies in uh, Ilvis. Not for regular people. For people with magic, however, it's different. You have to go through several trials to prove you can keep calm, even in the worst situation. So it's that bad when you go crazy, huh? I remember when I was a young boy, my mother took in a little lift servant girl. She had tiny mouse ears, called herself Killy. That's fast legs in Lithium. In case you didn't know. They're <laughs> <laughs> in multiple languages, don't we brag? <laughs> or like imagine introducing yourself. Hi, my name's Nicole. That means victory of the people in Greek. I don't know my fucking name. Your name means something of the house, didn't it? No, it's like something of the hearth and I was like, makes sense. My name Food. is Flower. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't know how to read. So eventually I started to teach her. We quickly became friends. She was smart. For a lip, I guess. Having magic in my blood, I never exactly had any friends, so Killy, she was my first friend. One day my mother found out that I was spending time with a servant girl. I brought her into my room and started beating her, telling me this was what was going to happen if I ever mingled with servants again. My mother sounds like a lovely lady. She's the kindest one in my family. So what happened? You told her to stop, I suppose? In a way. <laughs> I burned the house down. Nice. Remind me never to piss you off. Oh, love that. Mood. They barely got my mother out alive, but Killy was. She was left. Why did they drag the mum out? That's when I understood what happened if I lost my temper. I killed an innocent girl. So, yes. It's that bad if we can't control our emotions. Uh, sorry. I never meant to take so much of your time. So, uh, how are you guys feeling? I don't mind. Sad backstory. Cute. I think I don't mind. Killed an innocent girl. <laughs> Look, yeah. And power. Ooh. I always have time for heartbreaking stories and cute elves. I forgot what the flirting is like in this game. Oh dear. Is the is the flirting that you, you wish you could do at seventeen, but now you're twenty three and you're like, mm. yeah. as it happens, I have quite a good amount of heartbreaking stories to tell. Yeah, I'm so over him. Bring back days. <laughs> low key, low key. Nicole was like, this is totally my vibe, but I'm twenty three years of age and I can't love Xander anymore. <laughs> Literally. I think as well, like, like my love for like Eugene, like Eugene is Jace. You get it? Yeah. I get it. And I'm so over this brooding heartbreak time, you know. And there's me and Jasmine, which is Loki, colour in. Literally all black hair, dark brooding characters and we're like Hey Jill, you wanted to speak to me. Oh yes. You might want to sit down for that. Ooh, okay. This sounds serious. I already told you about our necromancy research in the Eagles, right? Yes. <laughs> That's not a question. Well, I found out that the research wasn't exactly for the Eagles themselves. I don't get it. You said the Eagles found you. Yeah, they did. And I always thought I worked for the Eagles. One of the documents I stole contained their account information for the research. You know, the buying and selling materials and supplies. Why did she take that? <laughs> it's so useless. And listen. A huge amount of money was being paid to them by a man called Oswaldo. I recognised the name as soon as I heard it, so I looked into it. And I was right. Some years ago, he and one of my teachers in the alchemy had a huge argument about book. Anyway, my point is, this Oswaldo guy, he's a noble either. I just, well, I don't know if he's working alone or for the Silver Order, you know. You know, the noble army. I know what the Silver Order is, Tilly. I've been hiding them from them all my life. Okay, I'm just saying that they'd be extra careful, Ida. If the Silver Order is behind this research, this might be bigger than we can handle. The four of us, you know. <laughs> I'm like, let's go. The King's study room looked calm and silent, just like every other room in the once glorious Northcliffe Castle. The young King was busy reading a book leaning to the side of his table. This book was written in Cardan, the ancient language of the Old Kingdom. Only a handful of people knew how to read it in Cardan now. It was a forgotten language. The book was about a sacred ritual called The Fall, but the information was useless. It only contained gossips and rumours, nothing solid. The young King Kale hated everything vague, like the Silver Order. They were always vague in their answers, in their orders. Kale knew the Order had him on a leash, but without their power, he was nothing. He knew he had no other choice. He threw away the book in frustration. Feelings, your highness, said the man who had just walked in silently like a shadow. Silver hair, red capes, black boots. You must be a weasley. <laughs> and a face, emotionless, cold as the icy winter. You need to suppress them. He put the book off the ground, calmly put it back in its place. What do you need, Sinus? Need? 
He approached the young king. I don't need anything, your highness. I just wanted to let you know that the map is almost complete. Good. I would like to see my mother now. I'm afraid that is not a good idea, your highness. I don't remember asking for your permission, Sinus. Sinus gave him a vague bow and left the room, leaving Kale alone in the dark. I realise Kale sounds like, you know, the vegetable Kale, and I'm like, what an awful <laughs> name to pick. Here we are, the golden city of Valond. Um, you all afraid. It's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> you only just come back. <laughs> You've only missed Kale, I'm evil, and the other guy being like, oh, well, d- don't don't let emotions be a woo. And he's like, oh, but what the fuck do you want? And he's like, I always could reach the map. And he's like, can I see my mum? And he's like, no, bye. <laughs> and we're here. <laughs> Golden might not be the word I'd use to describe this place. Oh, you should have seen for King Avian's death. <laughs> Clean and rich and beautiful. He was good for a human king. We'll be waiting in the Fragile Falcon's Inn, closest to the main gates. We shouldn't be seen together, but if you learn anything about the eagles, come and find us. May your old kings and queens watch over you, Ida. I'd like to imagine she's just taking her hand and going, really Ida, I... just be careful. Emotion. I'll be with Tilly and Xander. Please be careful. If things get messy, just run. We will find another way, okay? I can't leave you two either. Why do we hate this girl so much? Bless her heart! I know. <laughs> Poor lassie! Try to buy a cape. I don't think silver hair will do you any good in here. Alright, I should look for a tailor first. Go to the tailor. Yes! yes. yes. High five, Nicole. We were on the same page. Becoming an elite thief, one stolen potato at a time. We love her. Hello! <laughs> Welcome to Anissa's Dresses! How may I? Oh, oh, fuck me, she looks angry. We have 31 coins, I'll have you know. Oh? I'm sorry, if you're looking for new armour, the armour smith is at the east coast of Northcliffe. I'm looking for a cape, actually. Something comfortable and light. Oh! <laughs> a cape? I have just the thing for you. But unfortunately, the last one's been bought by a gentleman who was heading to the Wandering Tree. Um, I wanted to see your shop because I think we can buy some clothes, ladies. You know, I could use some new clothes. Oh, I don't. I... <laughs> they might be a little bit expensive for you. Our highest one is the star, so I think we have to go with Persuade because otherwise we're not going to get this discount. Why isn't it letting me click on it? Oh, we haven't got high enough things. Okay, we'll come back. Oh. Forget it! Let's go to the Wandering Tree then. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. <laughs> I'm ready. The animation is still just too much for me, that lack of clothing. Yeah. And you are welcome once you start paying for your drinks. Ah, oh, come on, Devlin. I thought we were friends. We are not. So you're really going to throw me out, even though I have such great news. What news? I'm going to be a father. I wouldn't be surprised if that was genuine. I mean, look, my lady just walked in. Mind if you help her a little bit, sweet treats? Oh, oh yeah, sweet treats. Nicole, 23 years of age, this is not what we approve. Oh, come on, we got to do the husband. we got to go along with it. Yeah. It's Chase. I know. I mean, we don't know who this is. Oh, there you are, you useless bum. Yeah, what? It's time you start acting like a responsible adult. I, uh, what? I'm not letting you see the baby if you keep drinking in taverns and gamble all our money away. What? I, I don't even... I'm <laughs> selling flowers all day long, street by street, while you sit and get drunk on ale. I you were trouble, but I never realised you were this low. Get out of my tavern! You're in big trouble, princess. Watch your back. I'll watch yours instead. Garlic. I see garlic in the corner. A garlic? Maybe I could cook something with it. Uh, that's the guy with the cloak in that that one there. Can you see why I'm pointing? Yes. That cape. Look, I really need that cape. Life and death situation here. Do you think you could maybe lend it to me for a time? Yes, you can have it, as you'll need it more than I do. Do I know you? He's just Xander in disguise. Where is my name? Perhaps we'll see each other again one day, as it is not the time yet. Great. I know, he seems like a nice guy. Yeah, he seems like the most normal. Don't bother me, human. I'm winning this game. No, you're not. Hi, Hi, He's been losing all his money. I wonder if I should let him win a few times, just to boost his ego. So I can crash it again. I love her. What are you playing? Twisted Monkey. A what? Old Dwarven game. It's pretty fun beating this guy at his own game. Game easy on him. It's so rare to see a lift in Valon. I thought they all lived in Idis. They do, 
But unless you like servitude, hunger, and the constant abuse of the moon elves, Ildis isn't exactly the best place to live as a leaf. So are you a refugee? Sort of. I have to make it more aggressive so it doesn't sound like Sky. Portable question mark? Luck is complicated. Are you familiar with Lith at all? No, not really. Well, long story short, my people believe that every Lith has a spirit watching over them. When a Lith is born, they are named after their spirit. Kind of like an uninvited guest. As you grow up, your spirit grows with you. It gives you power and protection if you feed it with positive emotions. Positive what? No, it sounds silly, but you know, the spirit needs positive traits in its host to grow up and become powerful. Traits like generosity, bravery, loyalty. If you end up feeding them with negative emotions like envy, anger, vanity, they die. And you become unworthy of the list, an empty being. It's called an illis, which means unwanted. They are not accepted within the list. How do they understand once a lift becomes an illa? It's not understood, it's spelled, it's known. <laughs> it's a lift thing. <laughs> so I'm guessing you're illa? Kind of. Actually, I was born here. My parents are illa. I've never even seen Ildis, but I don't have a spirit or anything. I wonder if they really have a spirit though. My parents say they used to feel protected. But think about this. If we were really protected by the spirits, how come the moon is almost wiped us all up? The innkeeper. Hello, friend. Yeah? How can I help you? So about that guy. Trouble he is, drinking all the ale, starting to fight, <laughs> usually alone, if not with the uh, ahem, ladies of the night. Any more than that, have to ask the fellow himself. It was your voice breaking on the drink. Yeah, hello, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for a friend. He has a nice new looking cape with him. No, he doesn't. You like he just took it off him. I saw a man with a cape. Strange lad. Elf, I think. Hate moonies. Always staring cold. Woman, he was there. And the other gone. Don't say looking for eagles because I don't think that's the time now. I just think if we go about saying I'm looking for eagles to random people, that's very suspicious. I think we have to do it later. I remember that we have to say it, but just not. Let's get the the the, the other stuff. Let's steal that salt. He's becoming a full chef. Oh, what's that? Father. Father keeps calling his brother horse poopy. Please stop teaching my kids unnecessary words. Love, Anissa. Grab them swords. Oh, sweet babies, come to mama. Hmm. That is not how I remembered him looking. Ah! You're new. He's dirty. He's a blacksmith. I swear, I think that's his chest hair. Didn't anyone teach you not to sneak up on fragile girls? I thought you were a talking bear. Checking out those daggers the way you do. I doubt you're as fragile as you say. Did you like them? They were for work. Really beautiful. Did you make them? <laughs> I made them for a very special young lady when I was still a young lad, and I've kept them all this time and never sold them. The whole time, and my poor daughter doesn't know. So tell me, what's a rogue noble doing here in Northcliffe? You cannot tell! I have a cape! What? How did you damn cape is useless? Ha ha ha, don't worry, it's not the cape. When you live in Northcliffe as long as I have, you learn your way around nobles. You don't feel very noble, however. Tilly said the same thing. What do you mean by feeling like a noble? Did you ever account a real noble? Once. Then you must have had a slight chill, a discomfort you couldn't quite understand. Like you knew there was something wrong, but you couldn't quite put your finger on it. That's how you realise when there's a noble around. For regular nobles at least. For you it's just a slight discomfort on my stomach. It could be the stew I ate for lunch though. Glad to know I feel like diarrhoea. Ha 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 ha. So, how can I help you? About those get, daggers. Get them daggers. They look useful. Can you give me a discount? <laughs> they're not for sale. However, they originally were made for a noble. Oh, I thought they were made for his wife. I really, I really remembered it being the wife. She never got to use them. It's a pity. So I might just give them to you. And here comes the favour. Ah, uh, exactly. Yeah. Do me yeah. a small favour and I'll give you the daggers. They have been on that wall for years. It's time they saw some action. Also, Eddie, you did just ask for a fucking discount. What did you expect? Alright, who do you want killed? No one! Look, I have a daughter. Her name is Anissa. She's the owner of the tailor shops here. She and I haven't been in a big fight last week. Ever since then, she is not talking to me and not letting me see my grandsons. She does not look cold enough to have grandsons. Convince her to talk to me again and the daggers are yours. Alright, sounds easy to me. Then you clearly haven't met her yet. We have, actually. <laughs> haven't met you yet. We haven't, she's a bit, but that's fine. Hey, are you Anissa by any chance? Watching you in the space of five minutes. Yes. I am. Your father sent me to talk to you. That's just like him. Sending other people to deal with his problems. Uh. What did he offer you? Money? Weapons? How much does his relationship with me cost to him? Two daggers. Yeah. Literally, that's an option. Take it. 
Um, no, no, no. no we'll get, we want these daggers. He seems to care about you a lot. I don't know what the fight is about, but he looks very upset. What the fight was about was irrelevant. It's his way of reacting to it. He'd rather run away from it than send someone else to take care of it for him. Look, I didn't have parents, never had them, but I have a very close friend and I would give my life to protect her. All I know is that whenever we fight, it's usually because we care about each other a great deal. Sometimes it just means I'm not going to give up on you, so you better change the way you act. That's silly, but I guess I'll think about it. Thank you. Uh, now, is there anything else I can help you with? We're gonna come oh. back. We're coming back for you, bitch. We're gonna have that same dialogue over and over until I get them close. Oh, how did you get here so quickly? <laughs> but the really old kings don't teach them sword fighting. They're men. They have to know how to hold a sword. They are boys. As far as I remember, my mother knew how to hold a sword better than you ever could. I do. Hey, Julie. But I... Hey, Julie. Fine. Stubborn as a mule. I just made peace between you two and you're already fighting? This? This is no fighting. This is our bonding girl. Remind me to hide somewhere if you two ever start fighting. Here, take these daggers as I promised. They're not going to their real owner. But perhaps the old kings have other plans for them. Mm. Wait, now let's start asking about them eagles. I think if you click the thing again, you can ask him. How okay. can I help you? I'm looking for the eagles. I heard they were a fun bunch. What do you want those scum? Are you looking for trouble? Look. You never talked to me about this. You also didn't hear me say, look for the potion shop. Okay, good. Thank well, you. Together. I'm really starting to like you, old man. I'm adorable that way. You take care of yourself, girl. Taking care of myself is what I'm best at, don't worry. Let's go to the potion shop then, because that's the only shop we haven't been to. Oh, damn, she looks like a bear beach. Hello, dear. How may I help you? Absolutely not. Hi, Paulina. Paulina. Paulina? Say my name. I'm afraid my great-great-grandmother is currently not present. Are you the alchemist, then? That is correct. Just as my mother before me, as her mother before her. It is a tradition in our family. As it happens, we are the best in Northcliffe. I could easily say we are the best in Valant. I don't get it. Isn't every potion the same? Well, obviously not. <laughs> Recipes, maybe, but is every meal the same? Is every piece of clothing the same? Every alchemist have their own secret, be it a secret herb or a slight change in the timer. A simple touch of love, perhaps. Can I have a look around? Because I think we have to find things. There's a hot chilli pepper. Mate, we've got a rabbit. We've got a chilli pepper. We've got garlic. We've got We're going to make a stew. We're going to make a rabbit stew. Aww. Vegetable thief. I am a vegetable thief. I'm looking for the eagles. I don't know what you're talking about. Save it. Oh, I mean, she got told the phrase, didn't she? Oh, no, she didn't. She just got told to come here. I promise I won't tell anyone. I just want to be recruited by them. I'll even advertise your shop to the people I beat up. Ah, well, you seem like you could handle yourself. The thing is, you don't find the eagles. They find you. They only recruit the worst of all kind. Murderers, thieves, bullies, people like them. If you think you're worthy, they will find you. Great, now I have to start a fight, kill a few people, steal some stuff, scare some orphans and throw puppies at really old people. Well, good luck. Thanks. I have to go. Whoa, a note in my pocket? When did it stop asking about the eagles? Friendly advice from a friend. I wonder if I should be concerned about the overuse of the word friend. We are now off to... That's the way to the fragile fountains. <gasps> a child. Uh, excuse me, miss. Is oh, this no. not a bunny? Can I, can I pet it? Oh, no. What is that boy? Killer. What do you mean? Burner and fire. This is how, how all children speak. Burner. Burn in hell. <laughs> how rude. Go ahead. I used to have one like this, Mr. Cat. No! I the more you hate it, the more I'm adding it. I kind of want to see you though at your full power. Cat. I always wanted a cat, but my mother wouldn't let me have one. Mr. Cat was so smart. He would follow me around, sleep by my bed at night. When we had to give away our farm to the bad men, Mr. Cats was left behind. Bad men? They came at night. So we had to pay money if we wanted to be protected. Mum said we couldn't pay. And they wanted to take us, me and my brothers, but Mummy wouldn't accept. So we gave them our farm. <laughs> Should have bloody given you away. Do you know where these bad men are? No, but oh. they have tattoos. Bird tattoos. But they're not pretty birds. Scary birds with claws. Uh, eagle, you might think. Oh. Here, take the bunny. It will be safer with you. Really? Thank you, miss. Oh, God. Sorry, love. Not open yet. Come back later. Uh, what's that one? 
The library is currently closed. Please come back later. There we go then. That's how far it is. Look who's here. Look who's here. You again. Because of you. Boss wants to go alive. You could kill the other one. Hey, I'm not even... Oh, forget it. Do you have anything we can use? I have a potato. Oh, that's cute, honey. But I don't think inviting them over for dinner will calm these guys down. Take them on the right. I can take care of the rest. Her face. Aww. Do me a favour, gorgeous, and don't die. I'll kill you myself later. No promises. Get down, you idiot! It's not easy getting down when I have someone's foot on my ass. Just where did you learn to fight? The zoo? No, they wouldn't take me. Okay, that was funny. Drinks? Maybe. Tie her up! Maybe I should let the- I'll kill you! That was easy. The name is Jace. Uh, nice to meet- Oh, it's now! Are you okay? You came as soon as we had there was a fight. Are you alright? Are you hurt? Do you need healing? I'm alright, they weren't that tough and I had help. Hey. Ida, where did you find yourself a night? A what? I'm so sorry about your order. Did, did you lose many friends? I, uh, yeah. I'm sorry to ask, but how did you stay alive? I thought the eagles got you all. My bro- Good friend, he. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. Hello, will anybody explain? Better if we talk in the falcons. Let's go. The order was already weakened. There was nothing we could do. I remember the night we got that anonymous tip. I guess we were all so obsessed about finding that illegal deal going on with the eagles. We never realised the tip could be a sham. I'm so sorry. I used to know your captain. He was a good man. But this will complicate things. The eagles already know about Ida, and they've seen you with her. If they find out you're an ex-knight, they'll realise we're plotting against them. You're plotting against them? Are you crazy? They worked out the night order. We don't want to fight them, we just need something they have. It'll be a quick steal and run for your life action. I'm sorry, Jakes, but we can't let you ruin our plan. You'll have to stay with us for a while, at least till we get what we want from the eagles. Somehow I feel like I don't have a choice. Oh well, as long as I have my ale. What? Oh. It's really amazing. What is? How a knight could actually turn out to be a drunken ass. Not as amazing as a gorgeous girl swearing like a dwarven sailor. <laughs> I fucking hate him, I still do. <laughs> Same. <laughs> like, I like him, but like the romance level, I'm just not feeling it. He's like one Stop of those dudes getting... at clubs that come up to you like too strong and like put these lines out and it's like, dude, chill. I don't swear like a dwarven sailor. Remember that time when MC stole your pants? Point taken. <laughs> Die. I've been talking to Tilly. Did you know she used to be a student in Ilbis? That's when my father learned alchemy. You know, I always wanted to be a thief like my mother. She always looked so strong. A bit like you. But now I'm thinking, maybe I only wanted to be like her because I never really got to know her. You know, when everything ends. If everything ends. And if we're still alive, maybe I... Maybe I'll go to Ildris and learn alchemy. Tilly says it's never too late to learn. Ida, every time you risk your life for me, I feel weak, useless, and important. There we go. No, I'm not whining, I swear! I'm gonna be someone I'll be proud of. It's time I stop hiding in my mother's shadow. I'll become a strong woman. I'm not just like her, I'll be a strong woman in my own way. Sky, you're already stronger than you think you are. How could we have hated her? Look at her arm! Speaking of which, Cassandra has been checking you out. How to say, very intensely. I probably did something wrong again. Oh no, with that kind of gaze, I'd say you've done something very right. <laughs> my booty bee! Ida, we need to talk. This is important. Do you know who I don't like, Tilly? Why are all her conversations important? Like me, she's to the point. We ain't got time for this back. She's too intense. Look at Ida, again? I don't think it'll be long before the Eagles finally invite you to join them. Oh. But you need to be seen as a ruthless person. You have to start fights and act like a real trouble. Those guys you fought were just a simple warning. Next warning probably won't be as easy. Diego is testing you, your strengths. He's watching you, your every move. He probably sees you talking to us right now. <laughs> Won't he find me here talking to you? Not in Falcons. No, this place is owned by another powerful gang in Northcliffe. It's the reason why I chose this place in the first place. Why don't we go to them? All right, so what do I do? Start fights, bully kids, kick ducks and yell really loud? Precisely. Although kicking ducks is not necessary. Time to become a ruthless hide. It'll be easier once you're in the hideout. Right. Let's talk to our Jace. I don't know, let's talk to Jace. Hey, gorgeous. See, I can't stand it when people say, hey, gorgeous, it makes my sin crawl. You know, you are in more trouble than you're worth. I'm worth way more. We apparently don't like any of these love interests. You have to pick, I'm not letting you guys pick chapter two love interests. I'd rather burn on a spine. I can't even remember chapter yeah, two love interests. Maybe, Jasmine, maybe when we go back to them, they might no. actually be better than we They're remember. Be Is that so? 
So tell me, this friend of yours, the always crying one, heard she lost her dad to the eagle. It's all right. Maybe, well, look, 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 maybe he's crazy. a bit of a dick. Yeah, she's been through a lot. First losing her mother, then her father. That's rough. <laughs> what? <laughs> I am a little bit, can you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> My brother was killed by the eagles too. I didn't know you had a brother. You've known him. And then again, I did just seconds. Me. Not by blood. In the order, they gave you a partner for life. You call your partner your brother or sister. They're family as we shed blood together. What if you fell in love with your partner and they're like, you're a sister to me? And they're like, eh! <laughs> and they'll be like, eh! <laughs> Great noise there. Mine was an Andashian guy. Pain. I struggled <laughs> so hard then. Why does that ring a bell? It should do. Crazy bastard, always messing around. Good guy though, he meant well. He was older, so he always took care of me. Bearing in mind, Harriet forgets everything. So, like, you guys <laughs> might remember things and things will happen and I'll go, what? <laughs> That's no, why I we love having you here. Died in the massacre. Yeah, damn idiot. Yeah. Always had slow reflexes. I'm sorry, Jace. Yeah. You know what would make me feel better? Kiss, I'm a little sloppy wet kiss. What? You plan a kiss on my lips. <laughs> I'm out. We're literally as adults like, <laughs> You know what would make me feel better? What? Me planting a fist on your face. <laughs> what? Okay, ouch, that's harsh. Tell me, do you hate me that much? I would say no, because I don't hate him. But no, I, I would don't. say a little. Mm, I'm flat along. Well, yeah, we've got to keep our options open. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> We're so I hate cool. him, but we've got to do it for the plot. You're pretty annoying. I mean, if you didn't have that face, I would most probably kick you really hard every time you opened your mouth. See, I don't think that's nice. That's not playing. Oh, I know. If you knew how many times this face saved my uh, life. How many times? Uh, okay, I think I just messed everything up. Anyways, what's with you and that uh, elf? If there's something between you two, I wouldn't want to. I mean, the guy can set stuff on fire. You're cute and all, but I really love my ass. Just say the word and I won't bother you again. Backside like, is back a swear. Is a swear <laughs> and ass is a... I don't want to flirt with him hard, but I think for the storyline, we should keep it open. And I, I also did respond with jealous much. Yeah, I think jealous. Too. Are you a little jealous? Today? Just setting him up for heartbreak. Jealous? Me? No way. You can be with Mr. Skirts all you want. I just don't want to wake up with my bed on fire. How dare you, gender norm people. Jace. How dare you. Let's talk to Xander. Dude, that's sick. So did you ever use it? None of your business. Why are we even having this conversation? What are you guys talking about? Did you know that Xander- I will burn you in your sleep. Bye. What was that? Nothing. Are you ready? It won't be long until they contact you again. Yeah, I just need to beat some people up. No biggie. No biggie? These people are the ones who killed your entire camp. Like, <laughs> these people are the people who wiped out the Night Order, who owns half of Northcliffe. If something happened to you... Thunder. I forget, like, obviously it explains why he comes on so strong, because he feels things like ten times harder. At least yeah. he has that excuse. Jace is just like... Woo! Jace is being led by the power of his groin. Xander's being led by the power of magic. Emotions and magic. Jace is being led by his willy. So let's be honest, Nicole, we don't dislike Xander, do we? <laughs> no! <laughs> as much as we may try, we can't. The and he's just so like, ugh. Like, why not tell her the funny joke that you were going to set Jace on fire with? This is only chapter one, Xander. We may, we may... It'll change. Uh, yes. Cute. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go for work. Are you worried about me? <laughs> why do I... About that guy, Jace. Is there something between you two? Look, if you like him, I, I, I'm sorry. I won't like it, but I will leave you alone. Jealous? <laughs> jealous much? Tender. Are you jealous? I am. Oh. <laughs> well, then. Go forward with them feels. Cool, let's go a bit. Right, shall we try the cauldron? Come back here! Sam! Somebody will have to pay for this mess! <laughs> Please, ma'am, it was a mistake. I'll go find a green hair. Yeah, what, Sam? We already used the budget for today's. I have three hours left, and there isn't a single serving ready because of you. So what's for dinner? Crispy assistant pie with mushrooms. You sure you want to fuck with a woman with a knife in her hand, Ida? Uh, I've got two daggers on my back. Try uh, me. Ooh, ah, ah, the knife. It's not what it seems. Tell me, miss, she'll cut me and cook me a right. <laughs> <laughs> 
My idiot assistant here has dropped an entire broth on the floor and I can't cook anything without it. The food will never be ready in time. Tell you what, if you ever find the ingredients I need, come talk to me. I need garlic, a paprika, a potato, and some salt and pepper. Conveniently, that is Conveniently, miss. Do we have a paprika? We've got a pepper, which is a paprika pepper. Oh, cool. I have I think all you know. all week. ingredients you need. Thank you so much. You know, since you're here, I really need help with those meat pies. I wanted to pay you for your work, of course. What do you say? Uh, I'm not exactly the most talented cook, but I suppose I could try for the money. Oh, you're a lifesaver. We don't have a lot of time, so try to make as many meat pies as you can, okay? Tell me what you're ready. Right, the meat. Cut the meat. Put the meat in the pie. Serve the pie. Meat. Knife. Look at Jasmine. So as you can see here, Harriet is putting the meat on the pie and delivering the pies. 17, uh, 16, 15. And uh, Nicole's becoming a human uh, timer. In these times, we really just work as a team. Oh, you can do it. I'm looking at five. Oh, come on. You can four, get one more pie done. You three, can get one more pie done. Two, come on. One. Woo. Oh, 10 coins for your trouble. I love it. Here's 10 coins for your trouble. <laughs> I know. To the library. For the last time, the library is currently closed. Please leave. I thought it said school girl and I was like, school boy. <laughs> Good old Barbie. If you don't corroborate, sister, bad things will happen. Like what? <laughs> yes. Like what? Yes. Stay out of it, girl. You'll get really Speaking of ugly, when was the last time you checked the mirror? A classic burn. <laughs> Idiot! There, you never there. Thank you. He would never leave if you went around. So I'm guessing he wasn't just a very enthusiastic reader. No, he didn't care about the books at all. He insisted that I had a valuable relic hidden in the library. Do you have a valuable relic hidden in the library? No. The only valuable thing hidden in this library is knowledge. History, myths, legends, and stories. Tilly? Who? Sorry, my name's Rin. Ida. If that's all, I'll take my leave now. Ida, wait. Before you go, you helped me a great deal back there. So here, I know it's not much, but I don't have anything else I could give you. What you give us? Ah, oh, and yeah. if you ever need of any information, as a scholar, I have many. Information? About what? All about Arunia, races, important historical events, places to go, famous people, religions. What do you want to know? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Absolutely not. We are not doing this. Let's do this, lads! I've seen a lift gal down at the Wandering Tree. What other races are there in Arunia? There are many races in Arunia. Some of them are unknown. Which one do you want to know about? Human race is the second most varied face of Arunia. The first one being the lift. There are many different types of humans all around. In the north, there are Valadons. In the south, there are Dacians and Duranians. In the east, there are Turanians. In the west, there is the Goo clan and Aranians. Humans are the most populated race of Arunia. Also the best traders of Arunia. I guess we really love money. Dwarves, huh? Very talented miners and warriors. Spirited bunch. Always ready to celebrate anything. Loyal allies of human race, even though they aren't known for their talent in the arcane arts, one of the most powerful mages in the history was, in fact, a dwarven man called Fodryk. He was also the founder of Salus, Academy of Arcane Arts, and Alchemy in Dragon, dwarven country in North Narunia. The school, however, was closed 30 years ago because of poor attendance. Moon elves, really strange people. When you talk to them, it's as if you're talking to a statue. Their expressions never change, and they almost never smile. Oh, but when they do... Which thirsty. Long before the Old Kingdom, moon elves and sun elves lived together in a draga, but their visions and beliefs started to drift them apart. Sun elves strongly believe in Arena, their goddess. They believe that their lives are borrowed from her soul, and when they die, they become one with Iana again. Death is completion for them. They also say that Iana favours absolute balance. It's believed that if you're stronger or somehow better than another, you are cursed by Iana. That's why for a long while, their mages were banished from Adagra. That's actually how Moon Elves first appeared. All in all, they're the most powerful magic users, and almost all of the Arcane Arts Academies are in their countries. There are about 17 academies just in Ildus. Sun Elves, their strong belief in their goddess Iana drives them to their living clans all around Adagra. Fire, air, water, earth. There are no leaders and they share everything they find. Everybody is free to leave their clans. However, I have never seen anyone leave. If you ever want to see what a complete balance looks like, you should visit Odagra one day. It's really peaceful. Lith, <laughs> they are so cute with their animal ears. They believe that they are born with a spirit. And while Lith grows up and gains traits, their spirit also grows up with them. They said that the spirits give them special powers like speed, strength, intelligence. In exchange, all they want is to feel positive emotions and virtues. They believe that if a lift starts to show signs of negative traits or emotions like anger and jealousy, the spirit slowly starts to wither until one day it dies and leaves the host completely empty. 
soulless. Once a lith becomes empty, they become what they call an e lith and they are forever banished from their settlement, even if it means leaving their family behind. Kind of harsh for such a cute looking race. Calliics. Nobody knows much about them, but the way they look, with their completely white eyeballs, it's kind of scary. They remind me of death. Some say Calliics can see through your soul in one gaze, some say they can see the future. They don't have a country and they travel a lot. They say they are naturally beautiful voices, so many of them have become bards. I've never met one, but I would love to one day. Well, here is Northern Arunia, which includes the Dwarven country Duragum, Human country Balond, the Moon Elf country Ildis, the Sun Elf country Odagra, and the island Taran. In the south, there is Human countries Adesia and Duran, Dwarven country Gala, which is almost as big as a continent alone. There is also a small elven country, Ishan. In the east, there is only one human country, Terra. The biggest sun elf country, Azin, is there, and a lith island called Janna. In the west, there are two human countries, Gan and Anari, as well as a lith island, Korra. Hmm, unfortunate thing to talk about wars. Never understand the need to kill another living being for the sake of a nonsense reason. There have been three major wars in known history. First one is called the Division War, the one between Sun Elves and Moon Elves. Sun Elves and Moon Elves used to live together. They weren't called Sun Elves and Moon Elves as they were simply called Elves. However, in the Elven religion, Iana, also in the name of their goddess, it is forbidden to have unbalanced power over another, and the use of such power brought great misfortune over the clan. That's why they were often banished the few magic users they had. But a few of the Elves started to practice magic, and magic use secretly. The Elves didn't have a leader of some sort, so this quickly started a war between the magic users and the rest of the elves. The rest of Arunia took the side of the magic users and helped them divide their race into two. The elves dividing and losing power of course benefit the other graces greatly, but it also started the era of the Old Kingdom. A kingdom that was made by the dwarves, humans and moon elves together. One powerful kingdom that ruled all of Arunia. They ruled the kingdom together with three leaders of each race. The kingdom was quite powerful for a while, just as they anticipated. However, it started to collapse. Day by day, rebellions, traitors, separates, they all started to fight each other. The leaders arguing each day about one race being more powerful than the other. Thus, the Old Kingdom was fallen and the second major war started. Big Valond War. Once the Old Kingdom was fallen, move elves which had nowhere else to go wanted to claim a big parcel of land over Valond. Humans who had all of Valond of course didn't want to share the land. The two races were already in the nervous position over the fallen kingdom, quickly started another war. That's when the dwarves and humans became allies. The moon elves were already weak in no small part of the division war. They were forced to leave Valond. They had nowhere to go until the Lith modern into Aldis, given freedom to live in their country. Moon elves had no chance to accept their terms, at least for a little while. Once the moon elves regained their power, however, things started to change. They started to push Lith to the south where the earth wasn't fertile and the climate harsh. Some of the Lith rebelled, even if it meant becoming Elith. That was the start of the third major war, the massacre of the Lith. Their naturally naive race Lith, even though powerful in the arcane Ars, lost the war with many, many losses. It was the most violent of war Arunia has ever seen. Most of the Lith were taken as slaves to noble elven families just because they couldn't fight back. Others forced to live in camps in terrible conditions. Moon elves killed every Lith they saw. Elith, Lith, women, children. It was really bad. Can anyone help them? Humans tries, but Moon Elves were stronger this time. We gave Lyft the Tehran Island, but I doubt it changed anything. That island is nothing but an unfertile piece of dirt. Nobody has enough resources to help Lyft at the time, so they were left to die. Poor Lyft. I want to blame Moon Elves for everything sometimes, but then I realise it is also our fault for dividing the Elves. There are many kings and queens in the history, however there are a few that quickly became famous. There is King Adric, of course, the human leader of Old Kingdom, charismatic, honest and good swordsman. Queen Orella, they said she could shoot a flying ladybug right between the eyes from miles away with her bow and arrow. Exaggeration, of course, but she was a very good archer. Also a great poet. You can see of some of her poetry. She was a talented lady. King Alan, Adashian king. The king with the, uh most wives. He was very charming. And then there's King Adrian, of course, our current King Kale's father. Smartest king in history. Married a noble to have control over the Silver Order. Founder of the Night Order. Best King Bound has ever seen. Pity he died so soon. Finally, our latest, young King Kale. I feel bad for him, carrying the weight of the crown at the sage. I heard his mother, the queen, locked herself in her room and never goes out. Actually, they are just the Silver Order. Calling them the nobles is a slang term. Must be because they first appeared around the time the old kingdom was built and they came from the noble families. Nobody really knows what they are. They looked and talked like humans, so they were not written in the history as a different race. Plus, there are too little of them to be called an entire race. They have superior sight, speed, and reflexes, but don't have any human emotions or virtue which makes them perfect soldiers. However, they refuse to be controlled by humans. Therefore, they found the Silver Order. The King or Queen has a right to call the Order in for official missions as they please, and the Order is obligated to answer their call in exchange for their freedom. They're an interesting bunch, almost magical. You feel it in your bones when they walk in. They leave a chill behind your neck, and when they leave, a very bad pace in your mouth.
like blood. Only the second largest human city, Northcliffe, famous for its chicken soup. I suggest you check out the diner when you have the chance. They make the best chicken soup in all the Verunia. There's a fine tailor shop managed by the beautiful Anissa. The talented blacksmith can make the sharpest blade even sharper. There are three major gangs in the city. I would stay away from them. The Eagles, Back City Kids, and the Sages. It used to be safe and beautiful. After King Adrian's death, however, well, I'm sure the new king is doing his best. An expected reaction. They're a vicious gang. The bloodiest fights in the city are all because of them. They're all especially trained in archery, famous for their headshots. They wiped out the entire Knight's Order in one night with their archers. I heard nobody survived. Absolutely nobody survived. Not even one person. Definitely. In King Adrian's time, they were a small gang, mostly doing petty thievery, some smuggling, nothing like murder or kidnapping. After King Adrian's death, they gained incredible power. Now they're controlling half the city. They have eyes everywhere. Oh, scholar, huh? What do you do besides reading? We study history, traditions, religions, and behaviour of all races in Runia. Well, all we could find. In books and legends or stories, gossips, even songs. We enjoy collecting knowledge, studying different cultures. Hopefully one day writing a book about them, be it fictional research. Have you written any books yet? Well, I've started to write a story. It's still at the very beginning. I can't say I'm doing a very good job. My spelling and grammar is terrible. I definitely think that Rin is Rinmar. Room. Like, this is her inserting herself in the game. Oh, what's the book called? Ascension. Of course it is. <laughs> um, I want to know more about alchemists. Alchemists are highly trained people who can use the arcane arts. Unlike mages, however, they need special items for practicing active magic. For example, they can create powerful fires just like mages. However, unlike them, alchemists need to train for years and need an enchanted item or potion to summon the power. They're excellent healers, however. Even better than most mages. Don't tell this to any mages, though. They hate it when you say that. I want to know more about mages. Mages can use active magic without any training. However, without proper training, they are in danger of overusing their power or using it on themselves, as they are naturally really sensitive people. Even a little excitement, like, say, kissing someone, can be seriously dangerous to them or their partner. I guess that's why they're trained to restrain their emotions at all times. When they are still kids, they are put in a stone-cold dark cell and left there for days starving. And when they feed them, they put poison in their food that will make them have terrible nightmares and hallucinations. These trainings go for months until they're ready. Well, if they're ever ready. Most of them just end up burning themselves to death. Maybe it's one of the reasons why there are not many mages in Arunia. Moon Elves are naturally talented in magic, and most of the mages are Moon Elves. Since Moon Elves are not very emotional, that works for them, I guess. I wonder how a human mage feels like. Tell me about the Old Kingdom. The Old Kingdom was built by dwarves, humans, and moon elves together. They joined their forces to create the most powerful city in all of Verunia. They really were the most powerful city for a time. Superior knowledge, arcane arts, trading, mining, art. Ah, you should see some of the paintings from the Old Kingdom. The dresses were to die for. Some say the Old Kingdom was fallen because of rebellions. Some say it was because of treason. Some say it was a curse or necromancy. Nobody really knows. Mm. Most of the knowledge from the Old Kingdom is now gone. Some don't even believe it ever existed. It's really hard to find solid information about it. You know, I think there was a noble here the other day. He bought a book about the Old Kingdom. The book was all written in Cardan, though, the ancient language of the Old Kingdom. Did you know Cardan was actually the old human language? Since the humans were very good at training, almost every merchant of all races learned Cardan at some point. It wasn't too long before all of Romunia could speak even a little Cardan, though they chose to be the Old Kingdom's common language. It's almost forgotten now. How a big and powerful culture just vanishes over time. It's sad. I want to know more about Ascension. Ascension is actually a funeral ritual of ancient times. Instead of burying the body in the ground, it is taken to the top of the Valand mountain and burned. A Valand priestess stays with the body and prays until it turns into ashes. Ooh, smelly. Once the ritual is complete, they say the soul of the body raises to the sky, becoming immortal to watch over the people. Therefore, the ritual is performed only on chosen queens and kings. The last ritual is performed when King Adrian died. The journey to the top of the mountain takes months. That's why only a few highly trained priestesses are allowed to perform it. The journey to the top of the mountain is called Bala. I met a Valon priestess once. She was really quiet and dignified. The way she walked was so delicate, yet at the same time, so full of pride and power. I want to know about necromancy. Necromancy is the only forbidden magic all around Ravunia. Some believe that the old kingdom was fallen because of necromancy. Raising the dead from the ground sounds very scary, but effective during the war. It would definitely be an advantage during battles. I'm not a mage, but from what I gathered, apparently it costs one life to bring another. I'm sorry, I'm not very informed about necromancy. I wish I had more information. I Do you know anything about dreams that in which you die? It depends. If it's under the influence of potions, poisonous plants, or an incubus, it's pretty normal. However, if they're frequent and not under the influence of anything, it must mean that you are very stressed. These normally occur if you've witnessed the death of someone close to you. Or sometimes it may mean that you want to kill a part of yourself, like an unwanted trait. 
A small bottle of pure fruit potion should help you sleep better, although I suggest talking to a medic about it first. I half expected a doom prediction of my future, not a medical solution. Maybe that's the problem. Try to relax a bit more. You might not be as carefree as you want to seem. What other religions are there? Many. Humans mostly believe in ascension, with the exception of Adashians. They believe in Nima, the goddess of heart. They believe in absolute freedom, in love, in life, equality among every race and gender, freedom to love and live with anyone. They believe that the feeling of belonging weakens the soul, as the soul is free of all boundaries. Doesn't mean they don't have any rules, but... I'm gonna fucking go with the Nima religion, fuck yeah. If you're looking for a committed relationship, I would suggest not involving yourself with the Dashians. Maybe not. Welcome to the hippie movement. However, they are really interesting people. Not to mention... A Dashian voice. <laughs> right, match religions, let's see. Elves believe in Iana, although Sun Elves and Moon Elves have completely different visions from each other. Sun Elves believe that Iana wants absolute balance in Arunia, therefore mages should be banished from the cities and forced to live a life alone in the mountains where they could hurt nobody. While Moon Elves believe that Iana simply created magic uses to protect those without magic, to keep balance. Lith believe in Ashura. Wait, there is a passage here somewhere that says a lot about Ashura. It's written by a Lith too. Here it is. Ashara live among us. A gentle spirit is seen only to the ones who seek. Ashara, a life of a life, a laughter, a smile that protects us. It lives with us, cries with us. The more we love, the powerful they get. The more we fight, the weaker they get. Just as they protect us, we protect them. Trust is felt, it is known, it is not said. They teach us to embrace the hidden good in everything. In return, we give them emotions, memories, lives. They can't live without us as we can't live without them. The hidden good in every living being, it lives with us, it dies with us. I don't know why, but this piece always brings a tear to my eye. Oh, I have to go. go. <laughs> Thanks for that, mate. After I've absolutely ruined <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Beach. Hello. Hello. Ah, uh, excuse me. Hi. I'm... There you are. Oh, you have to be kidding me. Can't I ever just walk around without running into one of you guys? Bah. Let's just get this over with. Which one do you want first? A punch in the face or a kick in the back? Stop. What are you doing? Don't worry, I will- Wait, what? That's my boyfriend. Did the Aegis send you? Oh, what do you want from us? I will leave town. I promise, please don't hurt my boyfriend. What happened is all my fault. I promise I didn't talk to anyone about it. What just happened? Leave us. Forgive me, our way of inviting people over isn't exactly... Why can't subtle. we romance him? Absolutely not. He seems like the kind of person that would be like greasy in real life. But I hope you understand. I can't let anyone know about our hideout. Oh, don't worry about it. I enjoy being forcefully taken into what seems like an abandoned dungeon. <laughs> I love what you've done with the place, by the way. So refreshing. I've been watching you, Ida. You're very interesting. I'm, I'm flattered. flattered. Let's go, V. You know, you could have just bought me dinner first, walk in the park together, talk about our favourite bath, watch <laughs> the stars. I mean, kidnapping is very romantic too. Don't you think it's a bit too soon? Give me. We Indesians are very pushy when it comes to getting what we want. I'm Diego, the owner of the Eagles. So, Ida. I don't exactly recruit anyone, but you've proven yourself to be rather useful. The Valon Priestess? She was actually on a mission to sell intel about us to the Sages, another gang in town. My fault. I always get involved with priestesses. Scaring her to leave Northcliffe benefited me greatly. I have to personally thank you for that. Although it's a pity I'll never be able to see her again. I have to say she was quite creative. Gross! <laughs> Disgusting! I, yes, don't mention it. I bully priestesses on a daily basis. And the meat pie trick. Genius! The owner of that place? She's been a pain in my back for years. Refuses to pay protection money. Meat pies were a great warning sign to her. Meat pies? Yes, they poisoned quite a lot of people. Nothing deadly, of course, but enough to lose a great deal of customers. <laughs> Oh my, I mean, oh yes, absolutely poison pies, I'm that ruthless. I just can't fucking cook these. I love how Nicole's doing this because she's generally like, what do you mean? Oh! <laughs> ah yes, <laughs> that is me! And that man you beat up in the library? He was an old Beagles member. He found out about the relic we hid in there somehow. He always managed to outrun my man up until you beat him up and put him outside the library like a pretty little package. I have to say, Ida, most of my men can't even get close to what you've accomplished in the past few days. Their entire lives. Beautiful and strong. Let's be beautiful. Ooh, Diego! Diego, go! Go, go, Diego! <laughs> go, Diego, go! Join me. Where? Well, in the bedroom. You want me to join the Eagles? <laughs> No, I meant at my quarters, but sure, the eagles too. I told you he meant the bedroom. I would join the eagles, but I'm not interested in your quarters. Although, I heard you Adashians knew your way around quarters. Too bad, we could have had a lot of fun. 
There is a small matter about your recruitment, however. As perfect as you sound, B. We have rules. You need to pass a test to join us. You want me? I figured it would go something like that. I need you to steal some documents for me. You don't need to know any detail. All you have to do is go into the house, steal the documents, and bring them to me. Will you tell me which house is that, or do I have to go into random houses and steal every document I find? <laughs> One of my men will show you the way. <laughs> I remember exactly how I said this in the old Diego voice, so I'm going to do it twice. And Ida, if you play a trick on me, I'll hurt you in ways you can't even imagine. And Ida, if you play a trick on me, I will hurt you in ways you can't even imagine. <laughs> oh, I miss you. <laughs> I miss you, old Diego. The documents are in the study room, second floor. Be quick. Be fucking go, bitch. Using the front door to break in, even Sky wouldn't do that. There's something glittering That's on the ground. Window. Study room's upstairs. This looks perfect. I can climb up here. Which way, which way? As Beyonce says, to the left. To the study room, yeah. She's right. <laughs> oh, Silver Wings, this is the time these documents belong to the neighbors. We are grateful. The Silver Order is ready to help you with your just cause. Blackbird gave us enough information. He will lead the Eagles soon. Night Order already suspects. The cleaning will begin tonight. May you always fly swiftly into the sky for our young King Kale, Sinus. I think we're done here. Let's go! What the juice? What are you doing here? I'm sorry, gorgeous, but I'm going to be taking those documents now. What the- Jace, what are you doing? Give them back. This is I suspected. Do you even know what they really are about? Jace, why are you here? How did you know where I was? I've been watching the Eagles for a long time, Ida. I knew about their plans to steal these documents for a while now. It's the only proof of the nobles being involved in the Night Order's fall. But I don't care about the damn nobles. This Blackbird guy they mention? He's a traitor. He sold us out to the Eagles. He was one of us. And he's the reason why my friends dies. Why my brother died, Ida. I want that bastard dead. Did you... Did you follow me? You jeopardised the entire plan, you idiot. What have you done? Give them back now, Jace, or I swear I will hurt you. I'm sorry, I can't. You would do the same in my place. Damn it, Jace, I don't want to hurt you. Now then, just in the arm. You don't need to kill him. Me neither, so don't try to stop me. What do you plan on doing? Barge in and fight the whole gang by yourself? I could do it. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this. It's called suicide, you idiot. I just want to look at that bastard in the eye and say he failed. He couldn't kill us all. Damn it, Jace. You don't even know where their hideout is. No, I don't. But you're going to help me find it. I'll like just picture their fight. It's just them doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Ida. This is going to hurt a little. <laughs> She's not dead, but she doesn't seem to have the documents, boss. Bring her in. I will question her myself. Wake up. Sell out, Jays. I'm very, very disappointed, Ida. Do it then yourself, you lazy shite. You lazy I thought I was man. very clear when I said I would make your life a living hell if you pulled a trick on me like this. It ain't a trick, Meech. Your own damn fault. One of your old buddies stole them. Who? A knight. Apparently one of them lived and now he wants revenge. Jace. Should have known that kid was going to be a pain in my ass. She did sell him up. Yes, you should have. Brother. Ow! I forgot about this little plot twist. <laughs> Jace, did you just use me as be- Wait, what? I saw you die. I saw you take an arrow to the head with my own eyes. That's the thing about those tiny little potions they use in the mage trials. Makes you have all kinds of hallucinations. Just a drop in your water. You should have seen your face. It was hilarious. You were my brother, Kane. Why sell us out? Why sell me out? It's Diego, actually. I was never Kane in the first place. I was never a knight of the order. I didn't sell you out. I simply did what I was trained to do. Yes, yeah, selling out a comrade. Who would ever do that? Please don't do this night, Arda. Well, why don't you finish what you started then? You must have been troubled that I lived. You lived? Don't be naive, kid. You were left alive. To be the reminder of a once glorious order. To be a reminder of my victory. Now that you had your talk as you wished, brother, I will have my documents. I had to say it was very nice of you to bring them all the way here. As for you, Ida, it's going to be quite amusing when the nobles realise their documents were stolen by one of their own. So you knew? From the day you stepped into the city. I wanted to steal those documents for a long time, but then you came along. A rogue noble. And it's not even my birthday. Oh, by the way, how are Tilly and Xander? It was smart of Tilly to choose Falcons as your gathering place, but thinking she could beat me in my own game? I think I'll get my research materials back once I'm done dealing with you. Put them in the dungeon. I'll take care of them once I'm back. Aww, the party will be awfully dull without you around. Don't worry, sweet thing. 
Once I'm back, we'll have a lot of fun together. Just you and me. He's so in the I shadows. Look at him. He's just constantly in the shadows. If you guys say something, say it. Something? Oh, I don't think I can stop it. Something, you utter piece of... You little... I will... You're... You total piece of... I swear we'll come out of this. Your face against the... <laughs> Calm down, drunken Jordan sailor in a girl costume. Calm down! I don't think I've ever seen someone as stupid as you. You truly are a rare specimen. Look, I was just... You were just what? The least you could do was not bring the damn documents with you. Why did you even follow us? What did you think? They would surrender to the last night alive? By the old kings, this one is alive. This must be a miracle. Let's surrender to him and start worshipping monkey butts. Wow. <laughs> All of it happened so fast, okay? I never thought I would I would find out that before the night order, it could be my fault. He was my partner, my brother. I should have known if I paid more attention. What was that? What was that? This is not a good sign. We need to get out of here. Did you try asking the guards really kindly? Oh, suck it up, princess. I don't know you, you don't know me. You would have done the same in my place. That's my only point, the fact that I'm like, to be fair though, I don't. You're like, we're comrades! No, no, no. Five minutes, mate. Bargaining in a hideout full of professional murderers without even a weapon to defend myself. Yeah, that's totally what I would do. How could I not think of this brilliant plan before? You know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean. I remember we all screamed when this scene happened. We were like, we were like ah! Ida, are you alright? Are you hurt? Does an shattered ego count? <laughs> we can fix that later. Oh, he's okay. smiling. I don't think Till can hold him off any longer. Take her down! She's half your size! Are you sure? No! Didn't anyone teach you? Size doesn't matter. The motion of the ocean, baby! <laughs> Ida, are you alright? I'm okay. How did you find us? I have a friend of the Eagles. He told us we were in trouble. Unless you want me to burn you along with the hideout, I suggest you start running now! Wait, what about the journals? I promised Sky I would- The journals are not here. Things are way worse than I imagined, Ida. Damn it, Kelly, I can't hold it much longer. My friend and Sky will meet us outside the gates. He'll tell you what's going on. Let's go before Sanders and Magic kills us all. You are late, Tilly. Eden! Cape guy? Glad to see you're still alive, Miss Ida. Eden, we don't have a lot of time. We need to leave Norca as soon as possible. I know. Diego left for the abandoned castle by the Crimson River, and he took the journals with him. The thing you told me about earlier. Are you sure? Yes. Unfortunately, he's a secretive man, but Tilly, you were right. This is definitely about necromancy, and somehow the Silver Order is in the middle of all of this. Whatever he found, it's way too important. He believes he can threaten the Silver Order. Normally, I would think he's going to get himself killed. With the documents he stole, the Silver Order now can't deny their relations with the Eagles. If the people of Norfolk learn about this, they will demand the Silver Order shut down and every member killed. This city lost a lot of good men to the Eagles. Anyone who is a friend of the Eagles is an enemy to the people. Even if the King uses the Silver Order constantly, he will have to shut it down. Or we will see the most violent war Runia has ever seen since the Massacre of Peru. What does Diego want? Why is he going to the Banda Castle? I don't know. He said it's about a key, but whatever that is, it is more valuable than his life. He took a great risk stabbing the Silver Order in the back. It must be the key to the Old Kingdom. Ida, we need that key. All right, plans. Anyone except Jace. Drop it already. At this point, smart plans or tricks won't help any of us. I think we need to Jace this mission. Oh, come on, you two? Diego is a tough guy, but he'll only have a handful of thugs with him. I think if we work together, we can take him out. Forget it. He's mine. Get over the shell. The chase. You didn't try the first time. Hey! What was that for, man? You almost set me on fire. That was a warning. If you ever stab Ida in the back again, I will not kill you. I'll burn you alive painfully, so slow that you will end up begging me to end your miserable life. And every time you feel like it's the end, I'll kill you. I promise the pain will never end. That is a bit extreme. I agree, Jace. No, it's not. Once I'm done with you, you'll learn the true meaning of extreme. <laughs> Look up down there like, fight over uh, me. Uh, Let's rest for a while. I'll be here if you need me. I will take my leave now. If I stay out too long, the rest of the gang might get suspicious. Good luck to you, Ida. Don't May your old king watch over don't you. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Hello, oh, oh, sky. Suspicious. Thank you, Kate Man, Elf Man, Man Elf. I can't believe it. I don't know what I, to say, Ida. I oh shit! Say, but I don't sorry. know what to say, Ida. <laughs> I just want to. I just wanted to know when my mother died, and now all of this. It. I'm so sorry for including you in this mess. 
This Diego guy, Tilly says he was really dangerous. Not really, he's just a guy with a lot of information. Hot though. Edition. <laughs> what? Only you would meet a famous he's a, he, It's the one with multiple partners that Edition, you hunt about. Yeah. The one where I was like, ooh, I'd definitely be part of their religion. And they were like, don't go with an Edeshian though if you want a, like, a loyal relationship. And I was like, maybe not. <laughs> Only you would meet a famous criminal and call him hot. I said Edeshian. You know, normally, I should feel like I have to give up on this search. Things are getting really dangerous, but I want to keep moving forward. I feel like after this point, there's no turning back. I want to see this through. I also want to stick a dagger right in Diego's heart. But Ida, did you learn how he managed to find camp and steal the journals? No, I don't think he knows the journals are yours. Good. Better this way. I, I keep forgetting that through the series we were like, who deserves to kill Diego? And I was always like, Jace, because Jace was the most betrayed, but it's Sky. Yeah, <laughs> mum and dad. Yeah, he's fucking killed literally mum, dad. <laughs> we're we're gonna go you have a rare talent of finding trouble wherever you go. Are you scared, Xander? I am, most of the time. Afraid of not being able to control my magic. Oh. Afraid of hurting someone innocent. Afraid of hurting you. He's thoughtful just because you're dating Greg. Who's <laughs> <laughs> big muscly man? Cancelled! Absolutely cancelled! You just rinsed him! I love Greg, I take it all back. I'm telling him, it's hilarious. Oh, I love you, Greg. Hurting me? You know I'm not exactly a delicate flower. Back in the hideout, I was really angry. At Jace, but mostly at you. For getting yourself into that mess. I took it out on the thugs. Just a second, even for a second there, I thought I wasn't going to be able to hold back. I thought, if I can't hold it, Ida, I can hurt a lot of people, including you and myself. That's why I was hesitant at first towards you and what I feel about you. But when I heard you were in trouble, the thought of losing you, I just couldn't deny it anymore. If you want me to leave you alone, I will. Whether you like it or not, I can't change what I feel about you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Which way? way? Friends. No. Scary. Kind of scary, though, but... It is scary. Pick scary. Oh. Am I supposed to be scared, Xander? See, when the responses are so vague, I don't know what she's actually going to say. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that was scary. And she's like, am I supposed to be scared? And I'm scared like, oh. Am I scared, Sander? <laughs> Already. I didn't want them to kiss. I'm very upset. Like I said, Nicole, we can still romance. The fact that there is a romance option in chapter two. like Yeah, you can choose. You can choose if you've ended up. Oh, okay. We can still fuck around. No, we're not. We're loyal. No, we're not. We're single ladies. <laughs> we're loyal bitches. You're not. <laughs> yeah. Did it? Does it? What? Did, what? What? Sorry, I forgot to mention. When you're having an intimate moment with a mage, for example, like kissing, for a brief moment you feel the same way as they do. I told, I told you how we had ten times stronger emotions, right? You did this on purpose, didn't you? You forgot to mention this on purpose. I can't believe you. I don't get why she's not alone. I'm sorry. I had to see your reaction. You evil mage! How? Oh, how can you say they're not cute? They are cute, they are cute. I, hey, I, I, still, I still love Xander a lot. Come on, you're saying you want to get with him? He ruined you guys' plan! He looks so sad! Hey, look, before you say anything, I know, okay? I'm sorry I backstabbed you. I ruined the plan. But I didn't know you. I mean, you were a noble after all. I thought... Never mind. I just wanted to say I'm sorry, Ida. Sure. Oh. <laughs> sure, no big deal. Sure, no big deal. It was just our lives we were about to lose anyway. You don't understand, do you? He was my bro- That's not okay! Or idiot. Payback. I think I like payback. Go for it then. Then she's gonna give him a little punch, isn't she? Oh, right, no it's not. Because these responses are so vague and I don't know <laughs> what they mean! <laughs> He was your brother. He backstabbed you. So you decided to take your revenge by what? Getting us killed? Oh, this was not what I thought. No, me neither. I thought she was going to be like, fine then, payback. Oh! Why did you really come back, Jace? I love you. Country boy, you I love went to the you. Silver Order without those documents. I'm sure they wouldn't like the fact Diego... Die 
Why can't I say it? The <laughs> fact Diego tried to stab them in the back. They would have killed him without any trouble. I... I didn't want to kill Diego. I wanted him to look at me and tell me why he did it. I wanted accents. Accents? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted answers. Reasons. Any reason, actually. I wanted to understand why he did it. Three hours of literally us three not being able to fucking speak. <laughs> we were close, Ida. All of us. The whole order. It was impossible for us to sell one of our hours out. I guess I just... I don't know. <laughs> I care, you idiot. You're a friend, and even if you are a bit of an idiot, you're a good person. I literally, I just moved so quickly. You don't know him still. But then I don't know Xander. I well, suppose think about like the situation you're in. Like you've just experienced death with like four. This is what Diego... people say is that relationships like fucking surge in high intensity situations. But also, Diego did say over the past few days. So for us, it's been like thirty minutes. You did all those. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, gorgeous. But yeah. I need some time alone. <laughs> Ready? Let's get this over with. There are three guards at the front. I'll stay back with Sky and stall them. Go in, take the journals and the key, and come back out. There'll be guards in sight, so focus. Sounds easy enough. Ida, whatever happens here, I just wanted you to know, I never met a noble like you before. You're kind, gentle, and compassionate. You're a good friend, best kind. It was an honor meeting you. Damn it, Tilly, don't make me cry. Do you know how hard it is to fight with blurry vision? Ready? <laughs> Let's get this over with. Don't let them the boss. <laughs> I'm afraid that's not an option. I let go. I will take care of them. No. You don't have a lot of time. Just go. Stand it. I swear if you die. <laughs> I said go. And please. Be careful. Attack. <laughs> Bring it on. Not this time, gorgeous. Please stop saying that. Go get cut. Diego, me and these guys are going to have so much fun together. I thought you wanted to say hello to Diego yourself. Don't worry, I'll catch up. In case if I don't, aim the heart. <laughs> Ida! <coughs> Ida. <laughs> I see you have successfully escaped my dungeon. I have help. Tilly, I presume. So whatever the, this key is... I'm going to be taking it now, along with my journals. <laughs> Your journals? The information in these journals belong to the Eagles, Ida. Do you know the woman who owned them? Maybe. She was an old Eagles member. One day she stole our information about the Old Kingdom and left the city for good. It was a pain to track her down. We found her, of course, a few years later. Wasn't pretty. You see, Ida, nobody steals from us. This guy's mother was an Eagles member? Well, they can't say butt crap! But I have to say bullshit. Blasphemy. Mother. Ah, I see. Now it makes sense. She probably left the city to protect her family. Stupid woman. I don't know her personally. When I joined the Eagles as a young boy, she was already gone. I have heard of her, though. Apparently she was very talented. So he didn't kill her. That's good, at least. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. I'm here to take the journals and get the key. Give them to me and live, or I will forcibly take them and you die. That's cute. You think you can hurt me? And you can't just sound so sweet as I do sometimes. Like sometimes the sass comes out and sometimes it's, or I will take them and you will die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid our fight will have to wait. What, what did you do? Me? <laughs> Nothing. What is this? What is happening? You said you wanted the key. Well, you found it. What? You, Ida. You're the key. Well, not you personally, of course. Your race. The nobles. Too bad you'll have to die, though. What do you mean, I will have to die? The gates of the Old Kingdom only open through a certain kind of magic. Necromancy. A kind that was used in the Old Kingdom. The kind of magic that is forgotten and forbidden. Just like everything about the Old Kingdom itself. Except the nobles. Except the nobles! Except the nobles! Except the nobles. The nobles are almost the only proof of the old kingdom ever existed. Your kind. I've been searching for information about it for years. To be honest, I wasn't sure until you came here and the building started reacting to your presence. Just like every piece of artifact left in the old kingdom. Your kind were used as gatekeepers back in the day, Ida. You are items to be used. You only live to open the gates of the old kingdom. You are the key. 
and unfortunately, when the gates is open, there's no need for a key. What? What's happening? You're fulfilling your duty, opening the gates and dying. And dying. <laughs> you, you knew that I would escape. You knew I would follow you here. No, not in time. But I'm enjoying the outcome. I bet. Move. Xander, the place is coming down. We have to leave. No. <laughs> Ida is still in there. Go. <laughs> Stop it. We have to get out. She's still in here. Damn but... it, Xander. Yes. Damn it, Xander. <laughs> She wasn't in there. <laughs> That's the only line I remember so clearly. Please. Cold. I never thought it would be cold. I knew, I always knew that one way or another, I would die like this. I thought I was ready. But right now, all I want is this. One is one last chance. Right. I never gave much thought to how I would die. That is awesome. <laughs> I know here big, comes, I know Twilight when I hear Here comes, me. here comes my second boy. Yes, big. My least favorite boy. Hey then, there is a gal under the piles. Noble. Do you think it's about the first gift appearance? Probably. Is she alive? I don't know. Doing Breaking Dawn before Breaking I Dawn. I know, Breaking Dawn before it was even that. Wait, actually, I don't know how old Breaking Dawn 